my name is Dave Cottrell. Uh, I'm a professional pyrotechnic engineer, and uh, I'm also the facility manager for Pyrotechnical Louisiana. Uh, I was always, uh, you know, a young kid's dream. Everybody wants to work with explosives and, you know, have fun that way. And it, it's a lot of fun, and it's definitely a challenge. It's a challenging job. Uh, I keep busy almost 365 days a year doing it, so it's, you know, it's a full-time thing for me. Fourth of July is just a big day for it. <laughs> I've been a professional pyro for about six years, and uh, before that I was a helper with other guys for a few years as well. We do some really huge ones. Our, our company's done a, a Democratic National Convention two years ago, and that was a major budget. It was almost a quarter of a million dollar show in Boston, and uh, we do some other stuff in China and across the world as well. That's the interesting thing about fireworks, you know, because there's so many different chemicals that you can put together to make different colors and stuff like that. And uh, generally, you know, what makes the colors is, diff is just different metal salts. You know, there's uh, like uh, potassium phosphate and, and uh, like a copper oxide will make red and, you know, it makes different colors. So when they actually go up with the lift charge and it blows it up, they, it ignites those metal salts and they burn different colors. So. It's a lot more than just gunpowder nowadays, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, this is all electronically set. We have a firing board synchronized with music. It'll set in continuity. We have different modules. You can set it to different numbers. Uh, right now, this is uh, address 1-4. If this is a red shell at a certain time, uh, our plant manager actually scripts all the shells. Four minutes, 30 seconds, he wants red shells to go up. He'll, he'll script it in the board. We cable it up. and. Every single module, every single little box has numbers and an address, and it'll send that shell, that particular uh, flavor up, and throughout different scenes, red and blue, that's how they do it pretty much. Synchronize all, it's all computer, computer scripted. All right. You know where they plug? Zero? Yeah, Not one, four, box, zero. Uh, I think it should be this box. Oh, they're gonna put another one right there. Yeah, because we got zero, one, Jesus. Zero, one, one, two, right? Two, wait, that's one, two, three. This should be. Let me look at my script. It should have been eight right there. Tim, this is. Uh, this should be two, correct? Yep. Yeah. Last one. And we're back. You need another nail. You got enough. Put it. You can move it over. Move it over. behind uh, shelters at the far ends of the barge and sitting there uh, I'll be on one board Dave will be on another and uh, we'll just press the start button and we just watch out for fires low breaks any if any uh, racks explode sometimes actually one show in Mississippi exploded we had tubes facing us so we had to cut off part of the part of the, uh, the show it was five inch actually so we have to we have to be careful got eyes out for fires or anything like that. Of course, it wouldn't be so likely on a barge, but a lot of times in the woods we get fires. Funny. But what we look for most is uh, there's two different effects. One's called a flower pot and the other's a detonation. And they're similar. Uh, a flower pot is when a shell actually, the lift charge doesn't get it out and it actually blow, bursts inside, but it bursts straight up. And now a detonation bursts inside, but it doesn't go up. It just boom, bursts the whole thing. So when, when that case, that's a worst case scenario. I have a, I have a dead man switch is what they call it, you know, and it's a, I'll be holding it in my thumb the whole time. And, you know, they call it the dead man because if I got hit or knocked out or something, my thumb comes off of it, it shuts the whole show down and it starts from there, so. And actually, unfortunately, on this very show, before I ever moved to Louisiana about five years ago, a guy uh, uh, had, a, we had a detonation on the barge and he went overboard and he drowned, and so. It can happen. It's definitely a dangerous situation, and whenever you got explosives, you know it's always it's it's the safety minimum or maximum. You, you get your you make everything as safe as possible, but there's always that chance, you know. So it's kind of that's what keeps it exciting. <clears throat> Did I just give you the last one? Like, no, I didn't. And uh, I can kind of show you how one of these shells works real quick. Uh, see, this is five-inch finale shell uh, inside. The bottom here, we've got a black powder lift charge, and that is what sends it out of the tube. 
and then I don't know if you can quite see it here, but this black fuse right in there, that's a time fuse. That, when the black powder goes off and puts it out, it lights this time fuse inside there. And when the shell goes up in the air, that time fuse burns about three seconds, hits a breaking charge in the middle of the shell, and that's what causes everything to burst with all the metal salts and stuff around it. So, uh, so that's how a shell works anyway. Lot of product on a bridge and two barges and it's it's beautiful. I like it. It's a lot of work and but it, it's it's beautiful. Uh, what do I like best? The best about thing about this job is when the show's going off, when you got explosions going around you and huge stuff going off and it's really exciting at that time. That's when your blood's really going and that's what makes it all worth it pretty much. I personally like it. I had experience with explosives in the Marine Corps, so one of the reasons why I uh, took this job. It's not bad money. A little dangerous. I like the adrenaline rush behind it. Uh, I just like explosives. Explosives, it's all up to imagination. There's no limits. That's what I like about it. That's pretty much why I uh, came to this job. Through all, all this hard work and the weather, and you get aggravated and frustrated, but what gets me is when the kids scream and yelling and waving. That's I like that. That pleases me, it makes it all worth it.